So we're gonna go through a couple of shoulder exercises to help improve both external and internal rotation of your shoulder, basically helping you to have healthier, pain, more pain-free shoulders, because you know, personally, I've had niggling shoulder issues in the past, um, and a key part to getting back to a point whereby your shoulders feel healthy and, and strong, it requires both, well, it requires a couple of things, but one of the key components is is strengthening the, the rotator cuff muscles, the small muscles in the back of the shoulder that often get neglected in a lot of sort of standard training programs. So today, we're gonna to be using a trusty water bottle to help work on improving those rotator cuff muscles. What you, the, good, the great thing about using a water bottle is that if it is too heavy, all you've got to do, have a drink, there's less water in there, a little bit less weight, more manageable. So, first exercise we're gonna do, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna position the elbow on top of the knee, and if you need to, you might find it useful to prop um, yourself up with a cushion of some sort, just so that it elevates the hips and allows you to bring the elbow up so that the elbow is in line with the shoulder. That's what we want ideally, the elbow to be in complete line with the shoulder, okay? So, once we're in this position, we're gonna grab the water bottle, keep the chest up, spine strong, elbow and shoulder in line. I want you to imagine that your arm, your humerus, the upper arm, is on like a, a kebab pole, right? So it can only rotate around that axis. So you've got a kebab pole running through your elbow through to your shoulder, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the water bottle towards the ground, allowing the, the, the arm to only rotate around that axis. As you get to the bottom, you should feel a, a sort of stretching around the top of the shoulder, and you're gonna come back up nice and controlled. Now, you're gonna really focus on keeping the shoulders pressed down and only allowing rotation at the axis. What we're not allowing is for the shoulder to hike up like this, really come up away from the, from the base support. We're gonna just keep it there, keep it locked in, slow and controlled, rotation only, and we come back up. You're gonna do around 12 to 15 of these per side. And what we're doing here, we're working on, first of all, you're getting a stretch through the internal rotation, rotated position. So we're gonna hold that there for a sec. And as you come back up, we're working through external rotation and strengthening those external rotator muscles. Okay, so like I said, 12, 15 reps per side. And there you go. So another great shoulder water bottle exercise very similar and that we're going to be working through external rotation you're going to come down onto your side and you can extend your legs out there you can grab your hand onto the back of your head for a bit of support and you're going to rest your elbow on top of your hip or on top of your midsection right from here we're going to again focus on keeping the shoulder and the elbow in line and only allowing for rotation there's never any elevation of the shoulder or hiking up or away from this fixed point keep the shoulder pressed down fixed up against the body elbow likewise up against the hips from here we're grabbing onto the water bottom again we're slowly lowering it towards the ground focusing on the back of the shoulder and then raising it back up again squeezing the back of the shoulder muscles and using them to drive this water bottle up again nice and slow and controlled keeping the elbow and shoulder in line driving back up Good. and you should feel the rear shoulder rear back muscles working as you're doing these if you're not feeling anything then reassess the way that you are performing the exercise I'm sure you've got enough weight but to be honest with you I'm using this water bottle here a 32 ounce water bottle so I guess a litre water bottle and it's pretty full and I'm getting more than enough stimulus from using this water bottle. So if you're going much heavier than this and you're still not feeling anything, then it's time to reassess the form rather than the weight. So you're gonna go again for around 12 to 15 reps of these, pausing both at the top and the bottom and performing them really slowly, slow and controlled. And once you're done, you rest, you complete maybe three to four sets, and you're golden.